Hello everyone and welcome to Fan Creation Friday, I'm your host Boomkin and today we're going to be looking at a community tour of amazing buildings. Now you can find those on the forum if you want to have a look at that tour list very very quickly. I'm sure Athena will hit us up with that list. Also we're going to be looking at blueprints. Now, this time I'm doing the blueprints a little bit different. Just a little bit. Uh, well, I'll take the picture. And I say this because this is what I'm doing. Basically, I bought a whole bunch of different blueprints from the same person. And what they've done is they've created several different blueprints. They all interlock together into a structure. But it's up to you to figure out what it is or how you want to design it. You can buy multiples of them and like create a kind of a big structure. So I bought some. I think I can make something from that. If not, I can always go buy them all if we require more. That's fine. So yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. I've never, I've not seen any videos of anyone do that just yet. I know it's a bit difficult to find all the pieces, but it helped that they were tagged under component, uh, purpose components. So that was pretty useful. Tagging really important. But of course, the obligatory hello to everyone. So oh, let me just, I'll tap off that. Mercurius Gaming, I'm back. Hello, welcome to the stream. Grossbath, hello, welcome to the stream. I am Ember, or just Ember for short. Hello, welcome to the stream. Shathina, hello, welcome to the stream. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Ah, Zafiro, hello, welcome to the stream. M Markian, old Mark, hello, welcome to the stream. Kadria, hello, welcome to the stream. Blueberry, hello, welcome to the stream. It's been a while. Good to see you around. Uh, Toffee Spark, hello, welcome to the stream. Get the. <laughs> get the something out. Hello, welcome to the stream. Good lord, I'm going to think of something to say for that. Get the flock out. I'm gonna put an L in your name. I hope you don't mind. Flock out. That'll do. <laughs> but hello, welcome to stream either way. Alright, you ask how you can get into the game. I think people are already answering your question, which is good. I believe. Let me just scroll to make sure. You say I'm new to the community, how can I play this game? She answers the question. Great job, Shasina. I'm gonna to have to go to sit in about 10 minutes of dance. Well, that sucks, Spa. But I hope everything's fine, and don't worry too much. Good lord. Blueberry, you say, I am still renovating, gonna rip wallpaper. That's fine. If you got us winning in the background, I I'm cool with that. Excellent, so. <sighs> oh, oh Zephyro, you say, when I stopped playing, PvP was new to the game, haha. <laughs> and the very last new thing was animated crafted table, haha. <laughs> hey, okay. Great. But I'm also, uh, we are joined by other people, our wonderful VIPs on Discord are going to be joining me throughout this tour and probably give me help and then try to make these blueprints work out. And these people are, of course, Drag5290. How's it going? Pretty good. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. It's good to hear. And of course, we've got Kato with us today. Hello, Kato. Hello. And silent, of course, is Shathina, but such is the way of Shathina. Mysterious as ever. Alright, now, Drek, I have sent you an invite. Did you get it? Uh, for groups, maybe? Correct, groups. I'll be online in a moment. I have not received a group invite, no. Of course you have not. <laughs> I don't even see you online on my friends list. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Well, not... Good luck, this... I, find one I can see, one. I can see you. So I'm gonna to jump to where you are. Okay, I'm not there yet. So yeah, just jump to where I am. If you need to know where we're going, the list is up on the forum, so you can like get a jump start on where I say I'm going to the next one. So yes, I do have the tall list ready. <laughs> so, and no further ado, I guess we'll start out. So we're going to Ludmilla, or Ludmilla, and that's their forest castle. Ah, you joined to my home island. I did, yes. And I have a feeling I would die trying to get to you. Uh, you, you can get down, but if you just jump straight from the top, then... Yeah. Let me just lower that down a bit. Just that a little bit, there we go. Okay, so this is Lord Miller's uh, Forest Castle. You can see already just by looking at that map, just above me there, guys, just how pretty cool it looks. So, I like this because I mean, you get, when Draken and Cathy you get here, so you'll see what I mean. 
it's very nicely laid out. Now, obviously, it is a work in progress. You can absolutely tell that 100% because all these crafting stations are still here. And in the final version of whatever Lud decides to do, it won't be like that. But still, to have this kind of layout, it's all very nicely symmetrical. Again, symmetry is good. But it's not completely symmetrical. If you notice, there's a building here. Oh no, that is kind of the same type of building. But still, it's very nicely done now. To create a building like this, it's. Takes a good amount of effort. Oh, I mean, let's have a look inside as well. I mean, I like the path. I know, I know, it's just it's just wood, and then flanked by stone and these uh, balustrades, but it's still quite nice. Oh, hang on. <laughs> so it says my cat loves the stream. Get away off the screen, cat. <laughs> Prime Arts, hello, welcome to the stream. So yeah, you can see this is Lud Miller's and obviously it's a work in progress. But it looks like what they're planning to do is quite quite ooh, amb ambitious. Most definitely. You can see here it looks like they're gonna be putting another floor on top of this building. Oh, because I fell. Holy so much wood. It's a lot of wood. Yeah, this is a this is a lot of wood blocks. It's gotta be check wood. out the check out the basement. Basement? Well, there is There's a basement? <laughs> I like that we both said that. <laughs> also, they're right up against the build limit here, too. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's so much wood. Like a lot of wood. Oh, can we go down here? Oh, yeah, of course, it's just a way to start off the standing portal room. And then they're kind of built over it. Interesting. I put this standing stone. Oh, I ha have fun with the dentist, Spark. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, I'll try and get a bit higher. Best I'm gonna read. Alright, so we can go over here. We should be able to get on top of this roof. Get a better. Oh, here we go, yeah. See, oh! Almost fell. You can see. The scale of this house and also the outside part with these four corner houses outside as well and the paths and then the eventual basement and imagine given that this there's holes there in the center bits there's got to be something in the middle here maybe like little gardens i know there's steps already so those have got to lead to something so i'm really curious to see what ludmill is going to do but so far this looks pretty nice oh god I... uh... Curse that dodge. <laughs> that it's also the problem with a, uh, a building full of holes. I've fallen off a couple of times now myself. Definitely. Indeed, Kadria. This is absolutely lovely. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when they're finished. I mean, just this so far. Not well, this time, chicken. But soon. Soon. But yeah, it's a big build. And it, it's a lot of resources gone into this. You may think, oh, it's just some wood and some... You know, ether stone, but that, that's a lot of ether stone, and that's a lot of wood just gone into this so far. And this is just the shell they're creating, which is really, really nice. Mm, I mean, it will be interesting though, because that's a very big build, so it's going to need a lot of uh, decor items. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have to stop because of dust, to be perfectly honest. Potentially. It's just, yeah. But I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of things that are going to need to go in, and pretty much every light source requires dust. So if you're lighting up a big area, you're just wasting hundreds of them. Okay, we should use torches. But then it depends how they decide to acquire dust and in what ways they do. True. Depends how much time they want to spend. There's certainly enough avenues to get it. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see what they decide to do. Because it is up to them. They might just light up with torches. They might have friends help them donate their decorations. We don't know. But I say, this is cool. And we all agree on that. And it's kind of curious to see how it turns out. Can I make that jump? I can. Yeah, no, it is cool. I'd love to see it when it's uh, yeah, getting a lot closer to being finished. Because it has a huge amount of potential right now. A lot of potential. Like these center bits here. These... Because there's, there's got to be something, because if you look in this one here, the steps, and they are grass, mm. so at this yeah, point... Yeah, in the middle of it. Personally, I put a tree here, 
a few branches here. But that's just me. No, yeah, you're. Oh, I'm gonna... oh, I can't press G. But I can get my block out to work out. Yeah, you can put two benches on either side of the steps. You have one there, and one there. And even if, you could put like interesting blueprints actually from other people in the middle. You know, because a lot of people have submitted like different types of trees. That could be interesting. But yeah, this this is a lovely work in progress, and I'm I'm glad I came across this when I did. So be interested to see what happens with them next. Hmm. So next on the list is Treerus or Treerus. I, I think it's Travis. Okay, so, and it is the forest tavern. Now, while this is loading in, I will catch up on chat. I tweet the conditions of viewing with a cat disguised soccer camp. I'll have a look at that after the stream. <laughs> uh, uh, flock out, you say, is there any good YouTuber who shows the game like everything you can do in it. Uh, Drac here, who we're with right now, does some really, really good videos, both building and tutorials. So, Drac5290. Just saying. Yep. I've, yeah. Tutorials out Tuesdays, and then questing videos on Thursdays, and building videos on Saturdays. So, depending on what you're after, I've got bits of everything, really. Yep, absolutely. Check them out. It's worth it. And what the... Primos, hang on, don't talk about the build yet. Don't, I'm, I'm catching on chat before I turn around. Uh, Prime Arch, you said, Boom, can I ask it yesterday already in game, but can you get Wormwood somewhere? Uh, Wormwood, why do I say Wormwood? Wormwood. Uh, sometimes the vendors have it. I can't remember an exact location that has it, but Desert have just come out, and they're all about oranges and yellows, so there's a good chance that I might have Wormwood. But um, also give our wiki a look as well, which is down below. Or even asking on our forum, our community knows a lot of stuff, so they're really solid and friendly as well. Uh, oh, there's a jungle pallet with warm wood. Oh, thank you, Shatina. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, jungle. you can really go to one jungle in a minute until we release the mastery adventures, then you'll be able to go to more. So, yeah. But hey, at least all of the pallets are in all of the types of worlds, so... Yes, you have no idea how happy, happy I was to find out that Inkwood was in the ice In adventures. In Inkwood is back! Inkwood is back. <laughs> it's been oh. gone for a long time. It Finally. It was at one point um, in Mount what was called Mountains, and it was just trees hmm. of it everywhere, and then they took it out for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, so... Here we are on Trevor's Trevor's is Forest Tavern, and I've come here. Oh, they asked, they wanted me to show this up, and it is a work in progress. But yeah, here it is. It's huge. That is probably the biggest airship I have seen. It's not complete yet. It's a work in progress, and they are constantly working on it. But good lord, it's. Huge, like it's like a mega huge thing. If, if I press M, right, it literally stretches the bandwidth of the island. <laughs> and how many people? How many people are are working on this? Uh, I don't know. I think it, he didn't say if there was, or he or she didn't say if there was more than one person. That, but uh. No. If you if you just one, well, the amount of fabric well, balls alone. Yeah. I either way, whether there's multiple people or one person working on this, this is amazing. Like that's just that's a lot of time, no matter which way you look at it. Oh yeah. yeah. I wonder if it's possible to get inside the big balloon. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm sprinting along and I can't even get to the end of it. I mean, I can eventually, but right now. <laughs> That's so much fabric bale. And it's not just collecting it as well, it's placing it takes time as well. Hmm. Although, if you're smart with the way you use your uh, boots of solid ground, then that can that can help out quite a lot. Oh, yep. they're called block runner boots now. 
Oh, yeah, right, right, okay, they've had a name change, yeah, haven't they? they had a name change, as I found out um, this week. Yeah, so you got the, the head pieces now called survey goggles, it's block hurler gloves, flight master harness, and block runner boots, rather than the names previously. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. <laughs> no, there you go. Yeah, it's just something to be aware of. Good yeah. alpha changes all the time. But your videos are still fine. They, they, they all still function as they do. Don't worry. Oh, can we go down further? Actually, I wonder if we can get down to further. Oh, firstly, Block Lab 777. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Good lord. I, I wish I had the ability. Oh wait, did it give... You might... Oh good lord, hang on, let me... I need to... Right, hang on, I think he actually gave me the ability to fly. So I can go back to my island and come back to it. Because I think giving this a proper aerial view would be really, really good. Uh, I'm pretty good. There's also that. a way up, kind of. Oh yeah, but that's not flying around, is it? No. <laughs> I didn't realise you could climb trains now, that's a new thing that's happened. You can climb trains? And yeah. You can, yeah, you can. And you can climb. You used to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. See, there we go. At least we just learned <laughs> something. Good old yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew about the uh, the ropes, Athena, the big ones, because I was doing that on um, Straub's jungle map last week. Oh, I need to equip it. Mm. And that's useful for some worlds as too. Uh, that yeah. That's useful for some worlds too, because there are sometimes like mines and things where you can climb down ropes rather than having to jump and take fall damage. Yeah. Very, very useful. There we go. Yeah, I do have uh, flying rights. Haha, -ha, I made it to the top! Yes! I, I, uh, I made it to the top too. <laughs> yeah, but you're cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating, I'm using in game functions that were given to me. You did it the hardcore way. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I can get down to below as well. Oh, hello. There's like a cage below. Oh, oh that's going to be interesting. Yeah, oh, it's, it's sealed with windows. So there's actual steps as well. Oh, I can get inside though, because I can fly. Yeah, that is a lot of grey iron. Like a lot of grey iron. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> they've used ropes and then put a little wood woodlock pile at the below it, like it's like it's holding them up. And then there's this cool camping area. Oh my god! Oh, that's it. Oh, I can. Oh, no. <laughs> the temptation to remove a remove something and then fly around is is, is big. Oh, I see these are exhausts for the forges and the flames. That's some crazy detail. That is some. Oh, Casper, hello, welcome to the stream. But yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, blocks. It's it's not available in South Africa yet, but one day, hopefully, as we continue to, you know, go global and stuff, as we get closer, like release and beyond release and stuff. As we get closer to our dreams of going global, I'm sure, without a doubt, we will cover South Africa. Because, you know, we want to go global and we want this game to be everywhere. We are just testing it in certain areas. But I'm sure you've heard all this before. So, yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. What are these? Oh, they're chimneys. Oh, what? Oh, you can't see that unless you get up top. 